think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? Oh, I love Miss Sonya so much. First, we need to let this game world end. By the power of friendships, literally. <clears throat> and from that point on, we are the ones who are going to create. Barbie? No, Usami. <clears throat> Oh shit. Usami's going in. Her boobs jiggled. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping between I was hoping like what's gonna happen behind Otto's heart and shit was gonna be Chiaki. <laughs> <laughs> Junko, I'm sad that she's gone again. She's waifu material, dog. Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? But I guess I no longer... I no longer have to hope for despair. Is just so hopeless. No! I just met you again! No! What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. Look at this epic ass fucking shot of my crew back in DR1. Except that Hina isn't there and Hagakure is not there and Toko's not there. I would love them to appear, but this is pretty cool so far. Damn. Damn Kyoko. Still as beautiful as ever, huh? <laughs> I guess. It's just as Hajime said. At least, this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. I love you guys! Why'd oh, you guys gotta disappear? Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this. But I, I kind of feel the same way, too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared, too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future! Yes, Nekomaru. Hey, I'll never forget you guys. 
or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. Do we get to catch a field though? <laughs> That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. Holy shit. Kiyomondo, dog. Kiyomondo. This is such a great screenshot, dog. Holy shit. Oh, that sucks. Because this was the virtual world. Minimaru does not exist at all. At all. Wow. Fuck this game. So this is the end. But it's just the beginning. <laughs> Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. <laughs> it's so sad. Me too. <gasps> I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. Somewhere. Because we're all friends after all. You're going to cheer me on from the digi, digi world, girl. Love you. Game over. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. I don't believe Junko's dead. Junko's way too smart. Junko's coming back in DR3, DR3, dog. She's way too smart. She's way too smart. She's, she's fucking coming back. Hey, I got Junk. Oh, giant cell phone. I thought I, I thought I was gonna say Junko's cell phone. Oh, uh, sure. I'll save. I'll save in a separate separate uh, thing though that fucking sucks and you know what's crazy is that um basically the ones that literally sacrificed themselves in this whole scenario was uh peko because she sacrificed herself to save um fuyu <laughs> fuyu ryu kuzu ryu sorry fuyu higo kuzu ryu um the other one is going to have to be Gundam because Gundam sacrificed himself. I think I think that could slide against uh Nekomaru as well because he accepted the fight and all that kind of shit. So and then next thing you know it was Chiaki who fucking sacrificed herself to save everybody else. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy ass shit, dog. <clears throat> And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurd absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality. It's all it's about to lower its curtain. Neko save Akane, that is true too. An incident smaller than Hope's Peak Academy's biggest most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest most awful most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now. Not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. They've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Damn. Damn, Kyoko. Them legs, girl. Then, I guess we should get go. Hey, Makoto, is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me, so I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure. 
but that's what I believe. Bruh, please let them come back. I want to see everybody make a return. I want to see fucking Gundam. God damn it, dude. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. So this is where the fucking screenshot was from, dude! Are you fucking kidding me? I was spoiled without even knowing this shit. I saw this screenshot on YouTube and it I for, I didn't I didn't know it was regarding this game. I thought it was fucking talk I thought it was uh talking about or you know, basically the event after DR1. Turns out it's the event after DR2. Damn Kyoker, you looking fine, girl. Even if there's the smallest possibility they're still trying to create that future for themselves. It's so weird seeing Makoto in a fucking suit. <laughs> it is. <laughs> in their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. But strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Shut up, Biakia. Why are you looking at screenshots on YouTube? They appear in my fucking related videos. I can't help it. The internet, that internet connection, though. Have it grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. That's horrible. Why would you guys say that to me? You hear that shit? <laughs> you see this shit? As cheesy as ever, seriously, you haven't grown up. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. That's horrible. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. What are they gonna do, fucking populate this damn island? That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um... About that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. <gasps> it's so beautiful! Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Oh my god, screenshot for days! <gasps> Besides the Future Foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. So basically they're hinting that Junko was still out there in some kind of form. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. <laughs> Toko! <laughs> Come on, Biakia, you gotta at least give her a chance, dog. Like, real talk, she's not even that bad. Then let's go. We must create our own futures, too. And, so and from here, our daily lives. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical. And irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. 
Yep, I saw it is coming. Fucking YouTube. I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. Does he still have white hair? No, god damn it. <laughs> My future lies here. On this island? Are you okay with that, dude? Epilogue. The day before the future. Oh, there's more. That's the end. What a fucking nutty ass adventure.
this time. I love you guys. Okay. <clears throat> Easter egg. What? Usami? Usami strap. Oh, what is this? Dangon Rampa IF. What the fuck is that? Save again? Sure. All oh, these save stations, dog. All oh, these save stations. This is Man's Nut featuring Mahiru's body. This is the investigation. I don't know what this is. Can't see. God damn, look at that. 11 to 2.44 a.m. Doing another one. Because fuck it, right? <clears throat> Alright. Alright, Limo. This is an alternate storyline where Monokuma lost against Usami. Really? <gasps> you can read the light novel Danganronpa I have written by this amazing... Hot damn Junko, you is beautiful. Mwah. Holy shit. I love Makuro Ikasaba too because, well, ultimate soldier and she has short hair. Mwah. Beautiful too. It kind of sucks though at the end of this game where they, like, they get to live off Jabberwock Island and uh, they have the essentials to basically making it alive for a while actually. But it's kind of depressing to know that they're gonna be stuck there. They're gonna stay there from the rest of the world. It kinda is sad. And basically Hajime cross Sonya is gonna happen and Soda's gonna be very very upset. <laughs> Akane might be her own woman. But that's if they get everybody back to life. You know what I was hoping? You know what I was hoping to happen? Like, I was hoping that the DR cast made it back, and they did in this game at the final trial. But I was also hoping, like, in the remnants of his, uh, in his head, Hajime's head, like, all the cast were gonna come back, which also actually happened. But I wanted them to basically be, like, supportive. You know what I mean? You know how, like, at the end of Persona 3, where everybody's supporting you and shit? I wanted that exact same shit to happen. Like, real, ta real talk. And then if you maxed out a character under little social links, you get a special dialogue. That would be so that would have been so fucking sick. Like Chiaki was helping you erase um Izuru from your from your mindset, but then just imagine everybody helping you from behind. And then Nagito would be last. Because like I knew you could do it, dude. He's <laughs> like, I know I put you through all this tough crazy this crazy stuff. It's sad that I didn't really get to know you, and all of a sudden, but you got this shit, and then BAM! Oh, that would have been so hype. Like, believe it, like, I know Chiaki was holding his hand, virtually, literally, like, throughout the whole ordeal, but it would have been so cool to just see Nagito for one last time. Like, it sucks that he fucking, he, he basically accepted death. He accepted death, because he found out what he is. It's so crazy. Nagito is just a, a boss, dude. Real talk. Final thoughts of the game. That's basically sums it up. This game is really godlike for the series. It's a really good game in general. Really good game. You really have to play the first game to understand what the hell is going on when they throw the fucking nostalgic shit at you by the end of the story. And I think that's what makes it a little bit, like, just a little more awesome than how DR1 was.